Good morning, folks. Ari here from Direct Auto Outlet in Fair Oaks, California. I have this gorgeous little 1993 Geo Prism for you today. For many of you who may not remember the Geo name, the Geo name was actually a subsidiary of General Motors, which later got rebranded as Chevrolet. Uh, the Geo name kind of just disappeared uh, later on. Um, in its history, it has just got branded just plain old Chevrolet after that. So this was later known as the Chevrolet Prism. But what many of you may not know is deep down underneath, not actually not very deep down, but underneath that sheet metal, this is a Toyota Corolla. You may see its handsome good looks popping out and many resemblances with that generation Toyota Corolla. And that is because this is essentially a Toyota Corolla. Toyota made this vehicle for General Motors slash Geo. They had a gap in their uh, product line and they reached out to Toyota and Toyota made this vehicle for them and then GM actually branded it Geo in hopes of getting additional market share. All of the parts on this vehicle other than the emblems put on the vehicle by General Motors have actually Toyota badges on them. If you pull the fuse boxes, look at all the fuses, many of the parts, there's just no hiding it. They were manufactured under the Toyota name and they still have the Toyota name on them. Center caps, center steering wheel, uh, horn area, badges on the hood, badges on the trunk. Obviously those are going to say Geo because those were actually from General Motors. Essentially they couldn't brand a vehicle they were selling in their showroom as Toyota of course. That would be a copyright infringement and uh, probably not good business on their part. But for many of you who are looking for a reliable older Japanese model, such as a Toyota Corolla or Honda Civic, this beautiful example has only 149,000 original miles on it. We have done tons of, tons of maintenance to this vehicle, which I'll get to in just a moment once we get under the hood. But a very impressive vehicle all the way around. Interior is very clean, no smoke odor, no head hair. Beautifully preserved and well taken care of vehicle. Clean Carfax vehicle history report. Only two owners since brand new and it has been a lifetime California car. You have manual windows, manual locks, automatic transmission. We'll hop on in here and start the engine. You'll see ABS light light up, letting you know that this vehicle is equipped with ABS. That light will go off, showing that that system is operating and working. 149,788 miles. Air conditioning is blowing ice cold here. Automatic transmission shifts just as smooth as butter. And even that radio is still the original radio with a pop out cup holder and an ashtray reminding of us of a better time. As you can see, cigarette lighter doesn't appear to have ever been used. Non smoker vehicle, no odors. No cracks on the dashboard. Very clean and tidy vehicle inside and out. All of its floor mats are still present and accounted for. Books and manuals present and accounted for. We'll go ahead and take the key out here just because we don't have a remote access for the trunk. No lever or button over here for remote. So for the trunk you do have to use the old fashioned way by using the key. As you can see the door panel is in great shape. Let's go ahead and take a look at the back seat area. Back seat space is a little bit limited as you would expect from a vehicle of this era, for an economy vehicle of this era, that uh, two adults can sit back here comfortably if they're probably no taller than five foot eight. Three adults would be a little bit cramped. Here's another rear passenger ashtray, again reminding us of a better time. Door panels nice and tight. Child safety locks are actually equipped on this vehicle. Turn knob to vertical position to engage. Set other rear door also, child safety lock. This was this was actually a nice feature. It didn't become government mandated until, uh, until later, if I'm not mistaken. So it was kind of nice to see that on a vehicle. Trunk space is actually quite roomy. Doesn't appear to have any access to the cabin through the trunk area, so no fold down seats. You do have a compact spare lug nut wrench and you do have your jack also in here as well nice and clean tidy vehicle you do have your VIN badges on all the panels for those of you which that matters for which is probably hardly anybody 
What this indicates is that all of these panels are original. They have not been replaced. They have not been involved in any accidents. Something maybe you would care about if you're buying a Ferrari or a collector vehicle. Not something you really check for when you're buying an inexpensive vehicle under $4,000. But guess what, folks? It's something that I check for when I'm in charge of providing you that vehicle. Uh -huh. Going over to the passenger side, you'll hear that the door kind of squeaked on you a little bit. Could probably use a little bit of oil. This vehicle has not had a ton of use in the last couple of years. So some of the hinges could be lubricated, could benefit from a little bit of lubrication. There goes your VIN badges again on your door panels and on the body parts of the vehicle. Flipping over on the front side over here, you'll see that it is nice and tidy up front here as well on the passenger compartment. No cracks on the dash. This vehicle has certainly been garaged. It has not been stored outside or been sitting outside whatsoever. Books and manuals present and accounted for. Even all your cards and it looks like your little AAA style key there as well. And uh, door panel on this side does show a little bit of wear right there and it looks like at some point this may have fallen off. This little round knob at the end so it looks like someone glued that on. That was the way we received the vehicle. Taking a look at the front of the vehicle, it doesn't look like the front of the vehicle has been hammered away with many awkward rock chips, gravel chips, or imperfections. Headlights are still crystal clear, indicating that the vehicle has been garaged and been properly taken care of. Now we'll go ahead and start the engine and we'll pop the hood. We'll show you some of the items that we reconditioned when we got the vehicle. One hundred forty nine thousand seven hundred and eighty eight miles. Go ahead and pull the hood release here. So folks, for those of you who know the price of everything and the value of nothing, I want you to especially pay close attention here. And uh, please let me demonstrate for you how we set ourselves apart from our competition and from other sellers, regardless of what website you are shopping for your vehicle in. This vehicle does have all new ignition wires, spark plug wires, their original NGK brand, which is what this vehicle called for. Does have a new distributor cap and rotor and does have a new coil inside of its distributor cap. Spark plugs are all new. Alternator there is new. We also had the air conditioning converted over to the R134 system from the R12. All new fittings there, recharged it up. It is blowing nice and cold now. The air was warm when we got the vehicle. This belt over here is also new. Belts, I should say, there's two of them. I'm gonna stop the engine for just a moment just so you can see how fresh the print on those belts are. Again, I'm hoping that I'm not preaching uh, to uh, folks that don't care but uh, as you can see the Goodyear print right on the bottom of that belt you can see that they're all fresh and they're all brand new very clean and tidy underneath here we also re uh, we also replaced the valve cover gasket, which is the gasket that goes between the valve cover all the way around. It was seeping oil down, causing that oil to seep down and to uh, let off a smell once it hits the exhaust manifold, so it is no longer doing that. We also noticed that the vehicle every once in a while, one out of every 10 starts, it would click when you tried to start it, which just showed that the starter was sticking. Of course, we could have gotten away with selling it just the way that it was, but we didn't want that problem to get worse and affect our customer in an adverse way so we also replace the starter folks a ton of care checking research and due diligence goes into every single vehicle we have here and uh, that is what sets ourselves apart from our competition you may see this car being offered by somebody else for $1,500 for $2,500 for however many dollars but I guarantee you if you were to add all of the items that it would need to make that vehicle into this vehicle and bring it to this condition, it would far exceed the price that we are asking for this vehicle. 
low mileage Japanese vehicle in great shape with cold air with all of its maintenance done for under $4,000. I'm hoping some of you may see the value of that, but I'm not so sure. I typically have a better outcome on things, but folks, we are more and more living in a world where uh, everything is becoming disposable and consumers are driving market markets and markets are uh, reflecting what you folks are asking for. And unfortunately, the model we've had here for 15 years, which is offering the best vehicles at affordable prices to the public, is not a model that's really working very well anymore. But if there's any of you out there that appreciate a great car at a great price, please drop us a note or give us a call here at area code 916-765-7575. We would certainly appreciate that. You can also find us 24-7, 365 days a year on our website, which is www directautooutlet.com would like to take this opportunity to thank you for investing your valuable time and joining us throughout the entirety of this video we certainly do appreciate it please join us for a thorough complete test drive video which I'll be doing on this vehicle as soon as I wrap this particular video up where we will be getting this vehicle on the road and putting it through its paces we'd like to take you along with us for the ride please join us for that once again, thank you, and we hope to have the opportunity and the privilege to work with each and every one of you in the near future. Thank you so much. Have a great day.